Out of my 11th floor window lies my London. Hazy electric blue early morning dampness or early morning fleeting sunshine sometimes greets me. Still seemingly beautiful, even though my London can't decide. My London is walking and walking and walking for 20 minutes to and from class and taking in every view as I pass. My London is busy, is beautiful, is never knowing when it's safe to cross and always pissing bicyclists off. My London is the sound of buses, is noise, is traffic, is distracting. My London is like a deep sleep after the pub, so relaxing. My London is the warm interior of the British Film Institute where some films get their final approval and where some great directors have decided on what stays and what gets the removal. My London is a takeaway lunch, a paste up, a tag, a street performer, and two musicians. Did I mention? My London puts beans on his toast and dodges pigeons, a whole host. My London is having to stop at a cash point to get some pounds. <laughs> Looks like play money. It's the weight of the pound and the look of the two pound that reminds me of Monopoly. My London is the South Bank, doubling as a think tank. My London is the underground committed to the sound of bass and drums. Hidden in creepy, creepy, dirty, dirty, gin and tonics without any ice. Assisting me when doing my best jagger. Ooh, girl, my London is a priceless swagger. My London is a rise, one week where race is not known to the London eye. My London has a soundtrack and I hope you know its name. So many questions for this city, so hard to keep them all tame. See, my, my London is cool, man, because here, here you just, you just gotta be great. Be great, man. Oh. Bob Dylan. My London is team us, so you're never alone. My London is Bob. My London is Steve. My London is breathtaking views everyone I see. My London is recognizing that it's been properly the next day for several hours. My London is Rocket Man. My London is Bob Albert. But you see, my London, my London is my biggest non-regret. It's my London's elusiveness, the quality I admire most that I will never forget. But you see, my London is just that, mine, and it can't be yours. And my London doesn't seem so far away since I've been on my London's shores.